Bonjour everyone! Before we start this video, I want to say a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart to all of you who sent prayers and good vibes when Tigret was missing. She's back now, she's doing much better, and we're just incredibly grateful that she found her way back home. So thank you all so much for your support. So I spent the entire morning working at my computer and you would hardly realize how nice it is out. It is really warm, so we're going for a walk around the village. <laughs> hey! Hi, Poppy. Hey. <laughs> hey, my sheep. Huh? Yeah. Mm. to the coin here Pat to the coin
So I have this book that I found at Emmaus, I think maybe the first month that we were here in the house. And it's called Le Grand Livre de la Pâtisserie et des Desserts. I thought that would always be very useful. And while I was just walking and told my neighbor about the fact that we had these pears, the coin, she said, I said, oh, we're going to probably make a jelly or... And then she said, but you can also make pâte de coin. And the recipe is actually in here. She said, I don't really have the recipe, but... So I figured it was probably going to be in this book. And it says that you make it with the leftovers. So whatever that looks like when you make a jelly. Sounds like a pretty complicated thing to do. Well, it's probably not complicated, but it's... Anyway, let's see if we can make this sometime this week. So there you go. First obstacle, passer au moulin légumes that I don't have. I was actually trying to go to Emmaüs and try to find all those like old school kitchen utensils. That would make me so happy and just go back to a simpler life. And there you go. This is something I need to put on my list. Yep. got cobwebs all over from being here so long. Let's see. It looks like they've still got something, I'm not sure. Let's see. Okay, I have made it. I took a taxi this morning at 6. To take me to the train station in Dijon. I took the train to Paris. I took a metro to get from one train station to the other in Paris. Then took a train to Normandy and the taxi just picked me up and dropped me off at the garage where I picked up my van. And the funny thing is they haven't done any work on it because it turns out that the guy that eventually did take some time to properly look at what was wrong with it said there's actually nothing wrong with it. It's a slight problem that will just go away all by itself and you really don't have to do the huge 3,000 euro works on it that the other garage said, which is why they said we don't feel like doing it, just come pick it up, that story, which is why I haven't had my van for six weeks. Anyway, I've got it back, but it so happens to be that since maybe about a week or so, there is some kind of strange strike going on in France uh, with, I don't know, I don't even know who's on strike, but it means that there is absolutely no gas anywhere. Uh, we have a couple of gas stations that still have some in our area, 
and this morning in the car with the taxi driver we could see like all the gas stations being closed and all everybody had signs up saying we don't have anything so i told myself i need to take the small roads just in case the light of my motor uh engine that's the word will still go on so i'm i've got an eight hour drive on the small country roads instead of the highway but I will pass a lot of gas stations and I just told myself the first one I see that doesn't have a huge sign saying that they don't have anything, I'll go there and I'll get gas. But it's closed apparently. Um, I just saw one other person and he was just sitting in his car. I said, what are you doing? He said, well, we have to wait until they open. This is one of those old, old school gas stations where you get the gas and then pay inside. And it's extremely expensive. It's maybe, um, what's that, 40 cents per liter more expensive than at my gas station at home. But I really don't have enough to get home. And with the current situation, you, you need to get any, any that you can get. The final end of this long saga. Yes, well, it keeps me off the streets, as we say in Dutch. Thank you.